Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood, and today I am bringing you some Battlefield 3 gameplay on the Aftermath map, Tala Market. This is a round of Conquest 64 person server, uh, I believe it was one of the UROC gaming servers, although I'm not sure on that, but they've been pretty much the only ones I've actually been able to join and uh, stay on recently with all the hack attacks going on on the Battlefield 3 servers, so hopefully DICE is able to clear all of that up soon. Uh, it's been causing a lot of people a lot of trouble and for some reason these servers seem to be uh, staying up pretty well so maybe no one's targeted them. Not quite sure on that but I'm playing as Assault. Uh, I am using the M16A3. I hadn't used it in a while so that's what I'm using here. As you guys know my main gun is the AUG but every now and then it is fun to go back to the absolute killing power that is the M16A3. Now this entire gameplay lasted around 22 minutes, I've cut it down to around 12, and there were, uh, the sections that I cut out, they pretty much were just sections where I was capturing flags, and, uh, there wasn't that much action going on, and although they are, to me, probably the most important sections in winning the game, obviously you guys like to see some of the more gun combat heavy stuff, but I'll still be able to tell you guys a little bit about the tactics I use on this map. I saw that E-Flag was flashing there, the suburb. So I spawned in there after dying uh, to that guy just lying down underneath. I laid down to kill him and ended up getting shot from someone off to my left. But you can see all these guys here that are pushing the E-Flag. They now hold all of the other flags, although you can see some of them are burning there. So we're going to take them back. I'm trying to clear up these guys so that they don't completely cap us until we get one of those flags back and uh, just protect this flag. And as the Russian team, to me personally, A-Flag is the most important because from there you can easily access the other central flags, uh, the main ones being C and then also the D flag. Now B is kind of far off to the left and uh, you know there's a wide open street there and my main reason for not including that one in the essential flags is that if you end up taking that flag and uh, your opponent caps all the rest of them they can really lock you down there it's really hard to cross that open street and regain anything from a you have a lot of cover right here c is fairly important from here you can get anywhere but there's also very limited cover and this spot the reason uh, I'm showing this section, even though I'm not really fighting anyone, is because that is one of the spots I like. A lot of people run up into this central area to get on the flag. You can actually be just inside of the capture range where I was, and uh, it guards your back because this is a very open section of the map. And obviously, uh, you guys saw that I was mainly looking to the right of where I was facing. That is because at that point in time we did have the B flag. If you didn't you'd also have to watch that because they come through that building on the left with the dome. And uh, right here, check out this sniper round going by me. That is one that I just slowed down because uh, that was that looked like it went straight through me, and I think I owe it to the glitchy hitboxes when you are hurtling objects in this game, saving my life there. But that was a uh, pretty funny moment in the game. I was like, "Wow, that was a close one." Uh, funny thing is, when you actually do get sniped and die, never really think anything of it. It's the near misses that are always way more interesting and. That sounded pretty cool in slow motion too. A very nice sound effects in this game. But right now, using this building, they haven't completely blown it to bits yet. Uh, just peeking that staircase, a lot of people will run all the way up top and you are viable to get killed there because this is still a very open area and especially up there you can get shot from every single direction. But you can see just a few seconds ago we only had that E flag. Now we have taken back almost all of them just took A. As I said, I find this flag extremely important because uh, you can defend 
against their oncoming attacks from their spawn and you can also reach the flags behind you fairly easily and then a lot of people also do fight over the D flag behind me which is in this more uh, compact area of the map this little town area here has a lot of rooftop combat ton of alleys and uh, it's it's very dangerous to actually move through because people will be jumping along the rooftops and they can end up behind you in the alleys and all of that stuff so you've always got to be really thorough in how you clear this area when approaching this flag but I see my teammates here so I'm going to uh, stick with them hopefully providing me a little bit of support and I will try to do the same for them and once I get up onto these rooftops especially if I'm entering from over here uh, I'm gonna move to my right and you'll see that in a second I was just checking that Jeep because if there was a gunner in that he is a high threat gotta go ahead and take him out but now you can see I'm on this rooftop and the reason I like this one is I can cover my teammates approaching D and you can see that they are in fact on D they've got it burning uh, otherwise I'd have to go in and do that but if I've got teammates on there yeah you get points for capping the flag but it helps to have a support guy and you can see I'm stopping people from coming to uh, support it from the back just took out two guys back there then and guys coming up here and the reason I like that rooftop is because the only entrance to it is in front of you it's not one of these ones where they can jump from the right or the left or come up that staircase on you um, so if you're up here you can pretty much cover yourself fairly well and there's this nice little ridge in the wall that you can lay down behind when needed but you can see my teammates are going to take that flag I'm just making sure no one else comes up and surprises them and now we've got to clear the areas behind it because uh, this is all where they spawn you can see we've already got guys back here and of course um, right after we take this flag here they are going to push the other side of the map so it's one of those circular motions once again wherever our team uh, meet success they're gonna push the other direction so they are taking both A and B and I'm gonna try to push back to A after clearing this back spawn area so that hopefully they don't end up retaking D so you can see we're just moving up here through the rocks I'm gonna see a guy down there take him out cover my reload by laying down and um, I actually threw out health first because I still did have rounds in my magazine and there was quite a few friendlies around me so I'm gonna try to get that heal up and here there's a guy standing behind a car and uh, what usually works is throwing a grenade at the car and blowing it up but for some reason this car did not explode so I've gotten a ton of kills doing that and uh, this car just did not want to be one of those ones that would kindly blow up and kill the guy behind it for you so that's that's not going to work there but you can see we're still pushing our way back towards a i'm going to clear this building just make sure there's no one in there give that guy some health because he was low on it but he didn't actually use it and uh you know if you're playing medic a lot of people will heal themselves all the time makes sense to do so um i still find a lack of people that will throw down health even when they're fully healthy and that also goes with a support class if you got the ammo pack you know chances are you're gonna actually die before you need it so go ahead and throw down ammo whenever there's teammates near I guarantee you that at least one of them generally can use it but once again here we're establishing the burn on a we've got all the back flags except for B which is the one that I generally ignore and uh, you can see that that counter on a is actually going back up we've got quite a few guys here but they've got even more I'm gonna take out one of them and then end up getting shot uh, but I'm gonna spawn right back in you can see some of my squad mates holding out in that building that is the place to be and also if there aren't enemies approaching so if they don't have D or B and they're only in their spawn uh, if you let's see I'm not gonna look at it but to the left there's a wall and there's those two archways the wall I'm looking at now that I'm actually moving up to here now yeah you can play right here and as they run in you can go ahead and take them out and you can see we have all the flags but B once again they've got a Humvee back there or a van or something so that guy's causing us problems uh, I'm rather gonna 
you know, just stay away from that rather than try and take him down. Do a slight little peek there and kill that guy. And check to see if the van's still there, and it is, so we're not even going to bother with that. But you can see now, I'm playing this area for anyone that runs by. And since they do have B, this is why this is dangerous. You'll see I'm going to start taking rounds from the right. And I'm actually going to somehow avoid this guy and kill him. But they can come through that alley on the right. Uh, that is an approach from B if no one is watching that. So once again, we hold A flag. We have also got C and D, although D is flashing at the moment. And uh, our other team there, the opponents, have B and E. More concerned about E at the moment, but considering that they can still push from their spawn and that that's at the back of the map, I don't really want to go and try and defend it. Um, considering that that would pull away from A, they might retake A by the time you get to E, and, you know, it's just a long ways away. Here I'm just trying to kind of hold them off from B, which is the main direction they're pushing A from. And I've got a little bit of cover here. I really should have tried to move to that building that I'm looking through now because that happens. There you go, get shot. Uh, but I was afraid to cross that distance, figuring that would happen to me doing that. But here you can see spawn back in. Um, we held on to E, we took E. So we go over, we take E, and like I said, what happened if we pulled away from A, they take A. So now they have A, B, and C, and uh, I'm trying to push C one more time. Here I see all of them running to the right. Know that there's this other alley, so I'm going to try to get a flank on them, because they know that we're shooting at them uh, from where I just was. So you can see, kill the one guy, check the left to make sure there's no more. This guy revives a buddy, and then I just fail on the hip fire with him. So that's going to be the end of my life there, and pretty much the end of the game. Uh, I'm going to spawn back in, get one more kill, jump down to try to get C, and they are making kind of a comeback there, but we end up winning with a solid amount of tickets left. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, that's how I play this map, Conquests, with a large amount of people, and uh, I will have more gameplay for you soon. So thank you for watching, subscribe for more if you haven't, and I will see you all next time.